Whoever was the person on the Phasmophobia team that developed this weekly challenge can rot in the seven layers of hell. That's all that I'm going to say about this one. All right. <clears throat> so this one is called Ms. Delivery. Uh, this is for the next week's challenge. We didn't receive our full equipment delivery for this week, so you don't have everything that you might need, and we have to find it out on the Brownstone High School, which is arguably the worst map on in Phasmophobia. Like, that is the absolute worst. I hate that. That's so awful. All right, let's dive in this. Let's see, let's see what we got. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, dear God. So we just have, like, one of uh, everything. Perfect. Oh. This is going to be rough. Okay. Hopefully, my saving grace here is that we actually just get, like, a Ouija board, and I can ask it what classroom it's in. Like, one of the most annoying things about this map is, is, like, the classrooms aren't even numbered, right? There's there's just no number system to it whatsoever. Ooh, we could use that. Let's use that. I wish to trap the ghost. Okay. So now, if the ghost is in a classroom... Uh, if the ghost is in a classroom that has a door, then the door will be closed, and then we can figure it out, right? But I gotta wait a minute and a half to make sure that we don't get hunted in that time frame. Uh, maybe we can get lucky. We can get some other stuff over here as well. Who knows? I'm just gonna bring this stuff to the doorway so that way we have it. This this sucks. I mean, it's not terrible, like, right? I still have to go around. I still gotta find it. I didn't hear it at all. I'm also turning on everything too because this stuff is very easily hidden in this dark area especially with the tier one flashlight do you just hate us do you just hate the community why would you ever possibly give us tier one equipment on high school oh that's so rough i mean there's tons of, like i know that at some point in time they're going to be doing a uh, a rework of like the uh you know, the, the CCV TV footage and stuff. But it's like, nobody uses them because on maps like this, they're all just the hallways. Right? Like, there's no... uh, the, There's no chance that you're... I mean, like, I'm not going to say there's no chance. Right? There definitely is a chance. But uh, the likelihood that you're going to get, you know, something in one of these hallways where you can easily, uh, easily see it and identify it is going to be... Uh, ridiculous. Also, I'm looking over here while we're kind of cooking a little bit. We need to see if I see any kind of EMF 5. It does seem somewhat active, which is good, but uh, I just hate this map. Alright, I feel like enough time is maybe has passed at this point for us to go in here and give this a try. Right? We're like three minutes into the video and I barely even stepped foot inside of this monstrosity of a map so bad okay i'm gonna say that it's bad one more time and then i'm never gonna say it again it's just, just so awful it's so bad okay that was two times i lied right but if you're playing this next week and you're like wow this is not a fun map to be on you'd be right okay so all we're doing right we did uh, we should trap the ghost so that's going to lock the ghost. It's going to shut the door. The ghost is in. So unless we get unlucky and we get a room that doesn't have a door on it, uh, one of these doors is going to be is going to have the lock symbol on it. And then we'll be like, oh, hey, it's that one. Now, for, because I did not hear the door shut, that either means one of two things. Either one, it was so far away that I didn't hear it. Or two, uh, there's no door, which would suck. But then again, I guess it does kind of really narrow it down. If you go around and you're checking all of these doors and you don't get any kind of lock on them whatsoever. All right, nothing, nothing. Keep moving. You
you know, and the the vast majority of the time of this video is going to be me walking around. Hundred percent. You know what? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say this now. If you want to, if you want to skip ahead. So we're like five minutes and 18, 19, 20 seconds into the video. If you skip ahead to exactly the 15 minute mark, uh, something interesting will happen at that point in time. Just skip ahead. All right, we're still looking. You can get a light on now at least. We've done half the map already. Just not getting lucky with where the this place is at. I mean, it's foolproof. It definitely will work, but you got to find it first. That's the uh, the difficult the difficult part. This section I always feel like is underutilized. Like I never feel like you get an upstairs like hallway ghost feel like it, it's always one of the classrooms. Of course, then again, I don't play this map all too often. And the reason why is it's not because it's, you know, it's too big. I mean, prison is larger. Uh, prison is larger. Sunny Meadows is larger. But the reason why I don't like it is uh, there's not a whole lot for the ghost to be able to interact with. It looks like there would be at first glance. Um, but in reality, there's just not. And so what you're left with is this whole area where you're like, yeah, this should do something. But then the ghost never interacts with the environment. And you get a, you mix that with a shy ghost. And you're like, this sucks. I hate this. Hopefully everybody has had a, uh, a wonderful Easter as well. Here we are. This is our room. Woo. All right. Hey, at least we got like a storage room. Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? All right, I'm gonna assume. I'm going to assume that we've got no spirit box. So we can rule that out. Unless we're having a hard time picking up any other kind of piece of evidence. All right, we're gonna head around to this side. That way I can turn on this light so we can get out of here. All right, no, we don't need to get out of here. Let me go down to the front. A lot of people always ask me why I crouch walk in this game. It's from walking around, the game used to be um, you know, you used to deal with like Sunny Meadows. Sunny Meadows was this absolutely horrendous map. Not, not necessarily horrendous, but it was just so, it was so large, so many corridors, so many hallways, all that kind of stuff. It really was just kind of rough. I'm not going to bring the EMF. We can check the van for EMF 5. But it was just really rough to try to you know, navigate the corridors and the hallways. So what you had to do is, is you kind of had to, you kind of had to crouch, but you couldn't really see, you know, like if you were running with no lights on, um, you kind of had to crouch down so that way you could hug the walls so that way you could see where you were going. That's kind of where it was at. So it just kind of became that, uh, that way. Also, there was a, um, there was a guy i made a uh i made a youtube short talking about how i have 2600 hours in phasmophobia and uh this guy was he was not buying it he said i i would have to see some screenshots to uh verify the validity of what you were talking about of course of course i can't get you to do to, to to, uh, you know, touch a door or anything. Well, we got freezing temps. If this is a shade, I'm going to cry. Legitimately, I will shed tears on this Easter Sunday. Because <laughs> that's what it means. All right, now we can head back outside. 
pro tip on this map too, right? Utilize the side doors as much as you can. Uh, because while you're outside of the house, your sanity is not dropping. So that means that instead of going in through the main entrance and having to walk all the way over here to the side to be able to go up the stairs and losing sanity in that time frame, just instead head outside, head to the side entrance, and that way you get a little bit of extra sanity of covering over that, that distance. It doesn't, I mean, like, in the grand scheme of things, is it massive? Wow, look at all of that kind of activity right there, Jim. Holy sh... <laughs> We're doing great. I'm at 81% sanity. I'm still not really seeing it throw anything. Right? The only thing... Wait, where's the... Oh, it probably is in there. I forgot that it's on the floor. Oh, well. I'm not seeing any kind of orbs. Right? It doesn't seem aggressive enough for, like, an EMF-5. So if we rule out EMF-5... There's no way that this is a demon. There's there's no way. I'm missing something. I, I don't believe that this is actually a demon. I don't believe it. There's no way. You can't. You cannot. There's no way. If this is a demon, the first person that types in the, the, in the chat that says that, aha, I told you it was a demon... All right, I'll pin your comment. And then everybody else I will ignore. Like, ha! I knew it! See, this is what I was talking about, though. These are the ghosts, in my opinion, these are the ghosts that suck. Now, the question I get asked the most often is, what is my favorite ghost to go against? And my response is always the same. I don't care what ghost that it is, as long as it's an aggressive ghost. Right? I want something. I, you know, I want pea soup. Straight up. You know, exorcism style stuff happening. Okay, I only had one of those. So I'm gonna really gonna need you to step inside here and not move. General thing that you did. So that's good. Still. Jeez, this again. Where are you? How old are you? Whoa. No footprints? Or did you just step through the salt and then just didn't say anything? I'm missing something. Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? I mean... This this is uh, this has got to be a shade. If I get ghost riding, right, we'd have to get EMF five. But I would need it to actually to do something. If we get dots, and we know that it's an oni. But I feel like that's going to be like this. This guy's not doing nothing. He's doing just nothing over here. Bring the pen. That doesn't show me anything. Oh my. Like, this is like the worst. Right? And I don't want to reset. I don't want to just take a guess and then just leave and just assume that this is a shade. I mean, it definitely is giving me shade vibes. Considering the fact that it's not doing anything outside of Okay, now it just touched just touched something. Don't don't go over there. Why would you go over there? Why would you do that?
right, definitely no fingy. You know what? I'm going shade. I'm going shade. Oh, wait, it was at the 15 minute mark. <laughs> Dumbass. Over here at 15 minutes. <laughs> you skipped ahead. There wasn't anything interesting. Ha! Ah! You lose! Sorry. It's this map, man. It, it, 100% it's this map. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean all those things. Okay. Has anybody ever noticed how just ridiculously long this thumb is? I mean, like, what's this? I mean, to be honest, what is this viewpoint that we're looking at here? Is this like, hey, do I have the, my flashlight, like, pressed right up against my head? See, that... That's a jump of five. That's an EMF five, right? This is this is a shade. I'm going shade. I'm leaving. If this is an Oni, I'm gonna eat a shoe or something. I don't know. Oh, thank God. I mean, that was awful. I hated every minute of that, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. All right, I'm going same strat again. We're going to try to... Uh, we're going to... If we get Monkey Paw again, I'm going to do the same strat. If I get a different Cursed Object, I'll go with uh, something else. I'm definitely going to be leveraging the Cursed Objects here because another way you could do it would be like to go around with a Parabolic Mic, but man, oh man, does that suck. We got Music Box. Mm. Mm. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear a single thing. Right? Like, here's the thing. If you hold on to the music box, uh, then it drains your sanity that entire time. My sanity just took a huge hit because I held on to it for so long. If I held on to it for too long, then at the end of the at the end of it, it would have just hunted. And that would have been that. I'm honestly thinking at this point in time, depending on where my sanity is at, maybe we just let it hunt. And see what we get. Right? Maybe we can identify it from the hunt itself. See, what am I at? Yeah, 57% sanity. See that? I mean, just like instantaneously. Oh, come on. Like, come on, man. Like, this is it. This is all the activity that we got here. This is, uh, this is so bad. Right? I don't at least I don't think that it's on the right hand side of the map. Could be wrong. But I don't think that it's over there. So we're just gonna walk around. And hope that we figure this out. I'd rather have just like a revenant. Just eat my booty hole right now. No. Wasn't well, anywhere close to here, so it can't be it's not going to be anywhere. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's my day of lucky. You can actually turn on some. Turn on the faucet. Oh, and I just heard it open up the bathroom. Oh, this is so good. Yes. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm going to take that little bit of sanity pill. That'll be enough. That'll be enough. Woo! All right, I'll take it. Shit. Wait, no, 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 it wasn't locked. Right? Push. I'm an idiot. 
I'm an idiot. I was hiding there for a second. I was like, oh man, it's hunting. And then I was like, no, it's not. I was like, either that or it's a miling. We are, we are good to go. Okay, it's touched a bunch of stuff too. Hopefully I can see an EMF-5 on this. That'd be really cool. No, definitely not. Okay. Wonderful. All right. I'm going to bring in the most amount of stuff that I can bring in. I'm going to drop that. I'm going to bring this. We're going to bring in the thermometer. I'm going to go in. We're going to grab the glow stick while we're at it. I think it might have killed the power. Maybe, maybe not. It did not. Okay, cool. I want to check. Right, so we bring in the thermometer and we bring in the ghost writing book because while you're running in everything else, those two things can still be working for you. You don't need to actively be able to, to look at those to see if they actually work. Just touch. Just gonna check all these doors real quick. I know it touched a door. It sounded like one of these doors. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Do we have freezing yet? We definitely have freezing. Is this another freezing ghost? Okay, I don't think we have. I don't, I don't, I don't know what door you're touching, right? I don't have an EMF-5 reader, but I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume that it's one of the ones that I've already looked at, so I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm going to say no ultraviolet. If I get two shades in a row, I'm going to lose my mind. Right? Would this be like the absolute worst? I'm going to jinx myself by saying this, but this would be the absolute worst video ever. If I got this, if I got tier one items on a high school map, followed up by getting three shades in a row, I would legitimately, I think I would cry. Yeah, I can bring in the salt too. We can do that. Hopefully we get something else over here. We haven't even we're we're 24 minutes into this video so far. And I, we haven't even seen a ghost. We've seen evidence of a ghost, but there's been no ghost events whatsoever. Like, did they just make it to where it's just really shy this time around? I don't know. With the with the invention of custom modes and then these weekly challenges, I feel like they just like. I feel like the devs went in the wrong direction. And what I mean by that is I feel as though that what they should have gone with was more of a scariness factor versus a trying to figure out uh trying to figure out why can I place that there? Uh you know like making it difficult to figure out ghosts. Does that make sense? So, like, what I mean is, is, like, I would much rather have a ghost when you go into it. It's just, like, super, super, super scary. All right, we got ghost riding. We definitely don't have any... There's no ultraviolet. 100% can rule that out. Revenant Maroi. Spirit box? And what did I do with the spirit? Oh, I think I dropped it on the floor. Dropped it on the floor. So if I say if I say no EMF five, then it's either a Revenant or a Moroy. 
curious. Yeah, he is. I mean, I'd be totally fine with a with a Maroi. Give me, give me a Maroi, and I'd be happy with that, right? Because I didn't see any ghost orbs. So if I didn't see any ghost orbs, then we're probably either dealing with a Maroi or a Shay. If we have EMF five, then we're dealing with uh, another shade. I oh, think. Also, if you guys didn't know this, I've got a summonthon coming up over on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash the bearded baron. Um, where we are going to be doing Phasmophobia, a bunch of different horror games. I'm going to be doing a lot of Helldivers as well. I've been really enjoying Helldivers, spreading democracy's cheeks. So if I just, if I bring back what, like, if we don't eliminate out anything else, we definitely don't have on the ultraviolet. I'm still not seeing any kind of ghost orbs at all. And granted, this sucks, and half the room is, like, blocked, so it could be in one of those stalls. So I'm kind of like... A little bit, you know, nervous about it, right? I'm nervous. I don't necessarily want to talk about it, kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, let's see. We can also grab the EMF five here, I guess. There we go. Grab that. I don't know. I, I will say this, right? And this would be an interesting thing for you guys to uh, to let me know down in the comment section as well. Is uh, how are you guys feeling with phasmophobia? Right now, I play this game a lot, so I think I feel like for for folks like myself and anybody else that streams this quite a bit, it can be rough. Where are you? Okay. Well, that scared the uh, living crap out of me. And it is a maroon. Okay, it's time to go. At least we got a maroon, and it wasn't another shade. So it wasn't absolutely awful. I mean, it still is, but it's not as bad. Okay, so, yeah, going back to the thing I was saying. So, right, I, I have over 2,600 hours into this game. I feel as though that because there's no new content, it's, it's very much so it's like, hey, okay, Apart from do putting out the weeklies and stuff, there's not really a whole lot of content to be had. Everybody's doing no evidence runs. Everybody's doing apocalypse stuff. Right. Uh, you know, so I don't know. I mean, if you guys are still interested in seeing Phasmo stuff, I'm totally down for it. Right? If you guys want me to switch over and do something else, I know somebody in the comments is going to be like, do whatever. Welcome back. Right? This that doesn't help. I mean, it doesn't, but it doesn't. I do appreciate the support, but at the same time, it's also like, hey, like, you know, you say do whatever, and then I'll post a different video playing something different, and it will get, like, two views. I'm All like, right. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm le just legitimately curious. All right. Um, You know what? Since it didn't help us out last time, we're going to go in with the thermometer and the... Uh, in the ghost writing book. And it, it was a different cursed object. So I'm going to leverage the cursed objects again. You don't have to, but it's just... I feel like you... In this kind of scenario, you kind of have to. Or you can just say, hey, we're going to lengthen this. Oh, that doesn't really help me. Oh, it's one of the... Oh, that's actually one of the science rooms. It's in the back. Those tables actually are... Pretty easy to give away. That's awesome. So yeah, but I've been playing, like I said, I've been playing a lot of Helldivers, uh, and that's been super fun. I'm like addicted to the automaton because I feel like they're harder than the bugs. And I don't know, there's just something about destroying like the T-800s that's just funny to me.
See, it's not this side, so then it's got to be in the other side. I wish I got more gymnasium coast too. Like that would be I think it would be really cool. Alright. So are you in here? Oh. I feel like you are. I feel like the temperature is dropping again. I really hope that we don't get another, uh, like, freezing Tim CMF5 kind of ghost. Like, please, dear God, give me something different. But we'll see. I'm going to grab the salt. Oh, I guess I will use it until we get down here. Uh, I'm going to grab the salt, the UV stick, and the uh, spirit box. That way I can go and I can test for fingerprints. I'm really not, uh, you know, like these ghosts have not been really forthcoming with stepping in salt and stuff. Or not stepping in salt, but with touching stuff. So that's why we're going the salt route. And my sanity did drop there a little bit. Yeah. Just from looking at the mirror twice. So we're going to grab this. I'm going to grab this. And spear box. All right, we're gonna head back. Taking my way downtown, walking fast, phases fast as I'm going back. I also do think that the high school needs a rework. This is gonna be a hot take here. I only just turned off the power, so definitely not a gen. Whatever it is. Turn this bad boy back on. And the power's on the other side. Never mind. Well, we're going to go O Dark 30 here for a minute. Uh, but I feel like the devs coming out, I don't know who they're asking for map rework. I really don't. When And honestly, what they should be looking at, it, it shouldn't even be, you shouldn't even necessarily be asking the player base. Right? This shouldn't even be like a squeaky wheel kind of scenario. What it should be instead is, uh, is you should just look and see what the, uh, let's see. We don't have freezing. What the least played map is. Right? Just ask the player, what, what map do you play the least? And then rework that map. Where are you? Oh, all right, we got spear box. Well, at least that rules out it being a, a shade. That's good. I need you to step in the salt. Right? Unless you're a wraith. Okay, you're not a wraith. But we also don't have ultraviolet. Okay. Definitely not a wraith. And now I don't know how to get out of here, and we're going to be stuck, and she's going to hunt us, and it's going to be awful. Actually, it would be nice if it was just like a Dijon or a Moroy or something. That would be really cool. Who knows? I'm not going to bother with turning back on the power. Since we know it's not a Hantu, so it's not going to speed up based off of it anyways. We already figured out where it is. So that's good. Taking my way downtown. Walk. No, I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head all day. All right. Let's see, nothing on the board. This is what I'm talking about, right? The reason why is not necessarily that this ghost is inactive. It's just because there's nothing in there really for it to do. Right? It's not Shade. I mean, Shades would be more aggressive when it was when it was there. But, like, we just have nothing. It's because there's nothing for the ghost to interact with. I would be... I'd be willing to bet dollars to donuts that if you were to go around and if you were to ask people what was the... Like, the worst map for them to run, 
I would say anybody with over a couple hundred hours of experience in this game would tell you that it would be high school. New players all day long, they would tell you something along the lines of like asylum or prison. You know, because those maps are big, they're daunting. But if we're comparing large maps to large maps, right? Sunny Meadows has something in every room and every room is smaller than these classrooms. And there's a map inside Sunny Meadows to help you to be able to find stuff. I honestly didn't check to see if it was a Maroi or not, and if I'm cursed or not. But if it hunts, uh, I'm gonna take a pretty good guess here that it is a Maroi. But yeah, this this weekly. So there we go. Let's see, do we have any orb? I see no orbs. No orbs across the board. Just face it that way. Any ghost riding? <laughs> okay, well, we got ghost riding. Spirit, mayor, fusion. Let's see. Freezing temps would be a Maroi. Let's check. Uh, I'm going to say we don't have any freezing. I'm going to say no freezing temps. Dots would be a Dijon. I'm going to say no ghost orbs. So it's either EMF5 or it's dudes. Give me EMF5. That's it, too. Give me dots. I'm okay with that, too. Heck, at this point in time, right? Spirit, mayor, uh, I mean, it could be ghost orbs. I'm going to be so upset if I don't actually see these ghost orbs anywhere. I mean, if you could just show me dots, that would be absolutely amazing. Right? Or we just let it hunt. And then we could just figure it out from there. Okay, I think we can all confirm. That we are not seeing any ghost orbs anywhere. All right? Not seeing any ghost orbs anywhere. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna break the I'm gonna break the mirror. If it's a Deogen, it will catch up to me at the front. If it is not a Deogen, it will not catch up with me at the front, and it will be a spirit. And then we will be able to go. And then we will finally be able to put this thing behind us. I think any weekly dealing with this map is just awful. Just saying. Just saying. Deogen. So it's got to be a spirit. Never mind. That's a Deogen. Hi. Hello. You made it. Done! Did she go the long way around? She must have gone the long way. Oh! Just... Under 40 minutes. For all three of them. And that's Welcome with back. using the cursed like object. And there we go! I mean, we got it! We got the weekly. We got it knocked out.
I will not be doing this one again when it when it pops up live. That's for sure. All right. And if you're curious as to how I'm doing weekly challenges early, okay, uh, all you have to do is go into your uh, go into your computer and set your date and time to a year and a week in advance from what it is currently. And then you can play the weekly challenges. You can play them all early and, and stuff like that. You can play whatever. Right. I'm not gatekeeping this. I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not keeping anybody from being able to, to do this. I, I recommend anybody to be able to do this as long as this exploit is still in the game. I think anybody should be able to use it and use it however that they want to, uh, especially for content creation. But guys, you are loved. You are valued. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. Uh, and I will see you guys on stream tonight. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the subathon. Again, check me out over here on twitch.tv forward slash the Bearded Baron. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.